السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear students, welcome again in the fun mess page and now we are going to start our lesson in geometric branch Our title is Parallelism This lesson consists of two cases First case We draw two straight lines L and M where L isn't parallel to M Then draw a transversal M Now, can I ask you what is the transversal? Excellent. The transversal is a line that intersects two other lines. Now, we know it's that pairs of alternate angles, pairs of corresponding angles, pairs of interior angles on one side of the transversal. Okay, number one. Pairs of alternate angles are formed such as angle 4 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 5. Okay. Pairs of corresponding angles are formed such as angle 2 and angle 6, angle 1 and angle 5, angle 4 and angle 7, angle 3 and angle 8. Okay. Pairs of interior angles on one side of the transversal are formed such as angle 3 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 5. Okay. Complete the following. Number 1. Angle 3 and angle 5 are called. Angle what and angle what are called corresponding angles? Angle 3 and angle 6 are called Number 1 Angle 3 and angle 5 are called alternate angles Angle 4 and angle 8 are called corresponding angles Angle 3 and angle 6 are called interior angles on one side of the transversal okay. Secondly in case of L parallel to M, we draw two straight lines L and M where L is parallel to M, then draw a transversal N. Okay. By using our geometrical instruments, we can determine the, the measure of two alternate angles, two corresponding angles, two interior angles on one side of the transverse. Okay. After measuring, can I ask you what is what what's the relation between the alternate angles? What's the relation between the corresponding angles? What's the relation between the interior angles on one side of the transverse? For for the alternate angles, we find measure of angle three is equal to measure of angle six. Measure of angle four is equal to measure of angle five. Okay, number two, for, for the corresponding angles, we find measure of angle two is equal to measure of angle six. Measure of angle one is equal to measure of angle five. Okay, and for the interior angles on one side of the transversal, we find measure of angle five plus measure of angle three is equal to 180. Measure of angle four plus measure of angle six is equal to 180 degree okay now we can say that if a straight line intersects two parallel straight lines then number one every two alternate angles are equal in measure every two corresponding angles are equal in measure every two interior angles on one side of the transversal are supplementary okay Right. In the figure opposite, AP parallel to CD, EF parallel to CD, measure of angle A is equal to 42 degree and measure of angle C equal to 117 degree. Determine measure of angle AEC. Okay, the solution is measure of angle AEC is equal to measure of angle. AEF plus measure of angle FEC this is number one okay measure of angle AEF 
is equal to measure of angle EAP by alternating. Then measure of angle AEF is equal to 42 degree is number 2. Measure of angle FEC plus measure of angle ECD is equal to 118 degree by supplementary. Okay. Measure of angle FEC plus 117 is equal to 180 degree. Measure of angle FEC is equal to 180 minus 117 is equal to 63 degree. This is number 3. Okay. Now from 2 and 3 in 1, then measure of angle AEC is equal to 42 plus 63 is equal to 105. Now we are reached to the end of our lesson. Thank you for your lesson and goodbye.